really disturbing. Phoenix police, they need your help to catch a guy that they say is shooting video or pictures up the skirts of women. You see the surveillance video here kind of shows it going down. This is happening upskirt videos of women while they're out shopping and investigators today releasing surveillance video and a pretty clear picture of the suspect they're looking for. Fox 10's Mia Garcia joins us live with the story. Mia. That's right, Carrie. The video is pretty surprising. The victim is wearing a long skirt almost down to her ankles, but that doesn't stop this guy from bending down and trying to get video under her skirt. Surveillance video shows the suspect casually strolling into Hobby Lobby. Minutes later, without even hesitating, the suspect pulls out his cell phone and starts getting video under a shopper's skirt. It's Hobby Lobby. I mean, come on, of all places, it's a craft store. It's not for, you know, just disgusting guys who want to come and get their own peep show. Phoenix police releasing the video hoping to catch this guy. He also has a tattoo on his right tricep. It happened at the Hobby Lobby across the street from Paradise Valley Mall. We showed the surveillance video to customers today. That's sad. I mean, that somebody would do that to, to anybody. I would hope that the, the police are checking all the sex offenders around the, around the valley. Police say the victim didn't know he was shooting video up her skirt, but felt uneasy because he was following her. She told Hobby Lobby security, and they went back and looked at store surveillance video. Catching this, police say upskirt videos are becoming more and more common as cell phone and hidden camera technology gets better. Don't you think you have a right to wear whatever you want to wear in public without being uh, costed or, or uh, taken advantage of? I guess that's where you're going to find most of the women at is Hobby Lobby, but I mean, come on, go to a strip club if that's what you're looking for. And police say the victim in this case did the right thing. She didn't know what he was doing, but she felt like something wasn't right, so she reported it. Police are asking anyone who recognizes this guy to call Silent Witness. That number is 480.